So here's the thing about games, you can never have enough. No matter how many incredible virtual worlds we've experienced, there's always something new on the horizon to get us excited for the next big game all over again. With that in mind, here's a look at our most anticipated games coming in 2016. Mass Effect Andromeda Commander Shepard's story is over and the Reaper invasion is behind us. And what is the human race to do next? Well, explore space, obviously. If Star Trek has taught us anything, it's that you can have some incredible adventures out in deep space. In Mass Effect Andromeda, you take the role of a new main character as he or she, or maybe it, explores the Milky Way's neighboring galaxy, Andromeda. XCOM 2 Every day is opposite day in XCOM 2. In this alternate history to XCOM enemy unknown, the rogue organization XCOM is now the rebellion to the Aliens Empire. Earth has been overrun, and the aliens now occupy our planet, forcing XCOM to become a leaner, faster operation. Battleborn It's no secret that Gearbox has struggled to step out of the shadow of its massively successful Borderlands series. The studio's other projects, such as finishing Duke Nukem Forever and Aliens Colonial Marines, has been met with well, less positive reception. Hopefully Battleborn, a unique spin on the co-op shooter formula that made Borderlands so popular, can turn things around. While it's not a MOBA per se, it certainly wears the influence of the genre on its sleeve, creating a tightly controlled experience that makes each level feel more directed than its open world predecessors. Deus Ex Mankind Divided Deus Ex Human Revolution was way better than it had any right to be. It also opened in 2007, an era where every series under the sun, from RPGs to strategy games, was being transformed into basic shooters. Instead of a dumb FPS, Human Revolution was an expert blend of story, role-playing, action and stealth. Deus Ex Mankind Divided sees the same team of creators working on an even greater scale. Mirror's Edge Catalyst the original Mirror's Edge delivered a critically praised and novel concept of a first-person parkour game, and those who played it genuinely loved it. Unfortunately, those numbers were a bit on the low side. However, this reboot, developed by DICE in the Frostbite 3 engine, looks good enough to get us all free running again. Tom Clancy's The Division A deadly virus has broken out and spread across the United States on Black Friday, causing the government to collapse in under a week. In response, what remains of an organisation called The Division must restore order and help prevent further chaos. Of course, this means exploring a derelict New York City with friends and hunting for awesome loot a la Destiny, although your friends might not stick around if you backstab them in the game's many PvP dark zones. Uncharted 4 A Thief's End Following a delay that pushed Uncharted 4 out of the 2015 holiday season, A Thief's End has a firm release date in March 2016. Of course, it's not certain what the title means. Nathan's long-lost brother Sam, who's new to the series played by Troy Baker, also appears to be a thief, so it's anyone's guess which thief will be ending. What we know for sure is that Sam convinces Drake to return to the globe-trotting, treasure-pilfering life for one last job off the coast of Madagascar. Sully is in tow for optimal joke-making, and we get plenty of the intense car chases we've come to love from Drake's adventures. Elena has yet to make an appearance, but there's no need to worry just yet. We hope. Street Fighter V Street Fighter V replaces the focus attack mechanic with three new designs, V-triggers, V-skills, and V-reversals. So far, the results feel like a mix between Injustice Gods Among Us and the Street Fighter Alpha series, with a heavy focus on giving each fighter individualized gimmicks. And if that doesn't get you pumped, well, there's always our Mika. Quantum Break Quantum Break represents a big departure for Remedy. It's not a story about Mr. Q Break, for a start. As for the rest, well, it's totally what you'd want from the creators of Max Payne and Alan Wake. Slick, third-person action, extravagant graphics, environmental catastrophes, and a pulpy real-time story driving you from one cliffhanger to the next. Quantum Break also has a live-action television component interspersed with gameplay episodes, balancing the developer's desire to not only hook you on an unfurling plot, but to respect the fact that you probably don't have time to watch and play the whole thing in one setting. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands Wildlands is an open-world co-op military shooter, where you can choose how to approach each mission. It's designed for squads of four, and friends can drop in and out to help at any time, although the AI will take over if you want to just solo the game. It takes plenty of cues from Ubi's other action games like Far Cry and Assassin's Creed, so expect stacks of mini-missions, side-ops, and different ways to approach each objective. Probably no elephants or honey badgers though, unfortunately. 
Crackdown 3. One of the most underrated open world playgrounds is primed to make one hell of a comeback in 2016. Crackdown 3 will let your super cop protagonist clean up the streets in the most gloriously chaotic ways possible. The multiplayer portion of the game utilizes the mystical powers of cloud computing to assist in calculations of building collapsing physics, turning any skyscraper into a virtual Jenga tower. If the cloud integration works as well as we've seen it in some demos, it could effectively turn the Xbox One into the most powerful console ever made. Dark Souls 3 the grand finale to this legendary action RPG franchise has a lot to live up to. And it's interesting that there seems to be a lot of Bloodborne's DNA in its makeup. So expect not only demon stabbing, slashing and flaming, but also some of the best enemy designs around. No pressure then. Gears of War 4. Gears is back and while the series has evolved into a brotastic locust filled curb stomp, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Many of us are excited that Gears of War 4 will bring back the darker, horror-tinged vibe the series initially started out with. There's not much to know at this point, other than the fact that the two leads are fighting courtyards and dark corridors with familiar weapons. Horizon Zero Dawn. This is just about the last game you'd expect from the team behind Killzone, a post-apocalyptic adventure game where you play as a young woman hunting robot dinosaurs. That's the concept behind Horizon Zero Dawn, which we'll be calling Horizon, thank you very much. You'll be hunting the mechanical prey with nothing but bows, arrows, and whatever other gear you can collect from hunting. Little is known about the story, but the sincere, unflinching way it approaches its premise more than has our attention. The Last Guardian. It's almost too good to be true, but following eight years in development and radio silence on its progress for the last three, it seems like The Last Guardian is finally coming into existence. During E3 2015, Sony dropped the bombshell by revealing not only that The Last Guardian is alive, but it's nearing completion and coming to PS4 in 2016. You play as a young boy exploring a fantasy world alongside his giant eagle lion dog thing, who learns to help solve puzzles with you after a little training. Everything else. And that's by no means the end of the list. We can expect to see Ukulele in October, Dishonored 2 in the spring, and then there's Divinity Original Sin 2 in December. Looking further afield, we've got Doom, Dreams, Gran Turismo Sport, Mafia 3, For Honor, Final Fantasy 15, Hitman, Ark Survival Evolved, Persona 5, Amplitude, South Park The Fractured But Whole, Wild, Pokemon Go, Halo Wars 2, The Witness, Star Fox Zero, Adrift, Far Cry Primal, No Man's Sky, Ratchet and Clank, Star Citizen, Overkills The Walking Dead, Scalebound, and what remains of Edith Finch all to come before the year's out. So come on then, what have we missed and what are you excited about playing in 2016? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more news, reviews, previews and features about all these games and more here on GameTradar Plus.